Good day everyone, this is Pornin Batanes once again and samahan niyo po ulit ako sa isa na namang episode ng Pagluluto. Today, gagawa po tayo ng achara or pickled papaya. Now, the recipe is very simple. We just need fresh papaya or the unripe papaya. This one is freshly picked from our papaya tree. So it's better if it's really fresh, so it's crunchy. And we need some vinegar, sugar, carrots, onion, ginger, and garlic. I think most of us know how to make acharang papaya or the pickled papaya, especially if you are from the Philippines. But as usual, I'm going to write the recipe on the description box below. So as you can see, I have peeled my papaya, removed the seeds, and remove the white part inside the papaya now what i am about to say is for those who are not from the philippines if i have the viewers or you know follower from foreign countries or not asian i mean um, in the philippines we eat papaya together with fried stuffs like uh, fried fish fried pork you know and we use it as an appetizer I love to have it with Lumpiang Shanghai, fried galunggong, fried bangus. Mm, my mouth is watering already. Are you? Okay, that's enough for now. So after I clean my papaya, I wash it, rinse it thoroughly, and drain the excess water. So as you can see, some of the papaya is starting to get ripe. I remove those so I don't have a soggy bits of papaya later. And now that's done, let's start grating our papaya so i use the bigger part the bigger side i mean of the grater so i prefer the bigger pieces of um, achara but if you prefer the thinner slice thinner sizes you can use the smaller side and it's quite fast also to grate if you know you're making a whole bunch like what I'm doing now. So after grating the papaya, I sprinkled some salt. Now, don't be afraid to put more because you're going to rinse it later. Now, don't you worry, your papaya will not be salty. This helps to dehydrate the papaya. Now I leave it for a while, for an hour on the countertop. But you can put it in the fridge overnight if you want. Okay, and then we put it aside and while we are dehydrating our papaya, we start to chop 
the rest of the ingredients. This is my garlic. I have a garlic, a ginger, onion, and carrot. So the garlic, I slice. The ginger, I slice. Uh, julienne, as they call it, or strips. And what I did with the carrot is I grated it on the bigger side of the grater also. But you can do a julienne or strips if you prefer to do it manually with your hand. But I want to do it faster. So that's my onion, thinly sliced. And that's it. We have the raisin, the onion, the carrot, the ginger, and garlic. Some put pepper, you can do. It will smell really good, but since I don't have the pepper on hand, as usual, I omit it. So now, let's get back to our papaya. So I'm rinsing it, and then after that, I squeeze the excess water as much as I can. So I rinse it twice to remove the salt from the papaya. So try to remove uh, the excess water as much as you can. If you have um, a cheesecloth, you can use it. It will be better, but I don't have. So I just squeeze it with my hand. And then after that, I put it back in the pot and mixed it with the rest of it, of the ingredients. So you just put it all together and mix it. And so after that's done, I put it aside and I start heating up or boiling my vinegar solution, vinegar sugar solution or the brine for the pickled papaya. So it's just vinegar, sugar and salt. I will put the exact amount or measurements in the description box below if you want it. And now let's just wait for it to boil you can do this process um, ahead of time because you need to cool it down a little bit before you can pour it in your papaya so that way it doesn't cook your papaya so now i put the papaya and the rest of the ingredients in the prepared bottles all the bottles have been sterilized so you don't ruin your pickled papaya and now let's just pour our vinegar solution to our papaya and we're done so they say that you have to leave it at room temperature for seven days and then after seven days, you can put it in the fridge. And we're done. Thank you for staying with me and watching. I hope that you had fun as much as I did. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.